Welcome to Season 6, Episode 13 of the Family Travel Australia Podcast. We are Paul, Katie and Jasper from the Feel Good Family. Join us as we explore this great country, Australia, its people, places and cultures. Yes, welcome to the Family Travel Podcast, where we share the latest in RV industry news, road trip travel, caravanning and camping, product reviews, where to go, what to do, and so much more. Thanks for joining us for another week. Yes, okay, this week we have started to settle into the new van and walk you through the internal storage solutions that have helped make it not only feel like home but maximise the living spaces. Oh, yes, and who doesn't love a good trip to Ikea and Bunnings, two of my favourite places? I thought you were going to say who doesn't love a good sticky hook. (laughs) Well, that too. (laughs) Command Katie, I call her. (laughs) Uh, also, we did promise a guest speaker or guest speakers this week. Mm-hmm. It's actually another travelling family. Yes. And they pulled out last minute because they had an offer too good to refuse. Yes, like, they what did. what do you mean? Oh, look, who can blame them? They're up there at that beautiful Keppels region in the Capricorn region there yep. of Queensland. A bit envious about that. Yeah, they said the weather was so good. They, I know. They had to, you know, act while the weather's good, which we totally get. Yeah. I actually have a rule about uh, drone footage, and that is don't leave it till later. Mm. In fact, any footage, don't, don't leave it till later. You know, oh, we'll get it tomorrow. The forecast is good. Yes. Mm. We've learned over and over and over again, haven't yeah. we, the hard way. And, you know, uh, it's an interesting one because you pull up into camp, it's a perler of a day, you know, you just want to do what you're doing. You don't have to, oh, okay, let's get photos, let's do this, let's do that. Do it, do it while well, you've got that awesome opportunity because Absolutely. we have been caught out many times, haven't we? Absolutely. <laughs> and learn from our mistakes. All right, Katie. Yes, okay. Let's uh, maybe start from the front. We're going to really focus on internal. Yes. And uh, if you do want to actually see that full walkthrough vision of the internal Mm. uh, aspects of this incredible van, then you can check that out on the Feel Good Family YouTube channel. Yes, 100%. And we did. We walked you through the entire living space, the inside Mm -hmm. of the caravan and the little things that we have done or that we're doing to really turn this space into our home, you know, and I think it's so important when you are living in, whether it's a caravan, a motorhome or whatever style Mm -hmm. of RV that you travel in, whether it's full-time like us or, or even just for, you know, here and there trips, it's really important to have it feel like home. There is no place like home. <laughs> I'm clicking my feet together. Yeah. And you know what I have learnt, I think, or we both have really through the three years of travelling, is compromise. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Mm. And we've also learnt in our three years of travelling what style we like. and We're very honest with each other. Like Kate will say, I've got this thought and then... She'll try something and I'll be like, mm. I, I really don't like that. Or she'll say, nah, that's that's not happening, Paul. Yeah. And so we're probably a little bit more blunt with each other than we were in our previous lives. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. No, it's good. And look, mm. you, you really do have to be happy. And what I love so much about the inside of the Zone RV, of the Sojourn that we are now calling home, is that it's very – simplistic it's a very classic design some would say minimalistic some some yes i but would i would actually say exactly that it no, is. oh no it is it yep. definitely is it's uncluttered it's not so full of storage spaces that it tempts you to stack a whole heap of stuff in <laughs> true but what i outside, love outside though Outside has got more storage than you can put a bear in. Oh, it's so good. The outside. Can't wait to get to that. And we will do a full outside tour. Paul's also going to talk all of the tech that is part of this incredible vehicle that we are still learning the ropes with. Yeah, once I've learnt it, I'll I'll share that. That will be coming up in a few weeks' time. Mm. But it's it is a blank canvas. It's a palette, I suppose, for you to then lay down. 
the colours of your life. Do you like that? Do you like what I did there? No, but in all seriousness, oh. it really does give you scope to to really put your own personal style and mm-hmm. design touches into the interior and to really turn it into a place that not only feels good but that mm. you want to be inside as well. I love that. Do you know we have a friend, uh, Paul, he's another cameraman actually that I – had done some contract work with before we hit the road. And he said to me in, in his English accent, you know what I love most, mate, is when I've been out all day and been hiking and then I get home and it's my sanctuary. It's like my van. I love it. He sounds a bit Scottish to me. I don't know if that was an English accent, was it? Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. No, look, I can't do an English accent, obviously. But his point is very valid. You do want it to be a sanctuary, somewhere that when you return to, you feel relaxed and happy and Mm. you feel good. And so that was our mission. We wanted to feel good inside this beautiful van. So let's get started. Jasper and I hit the shops. We did, in fact, have shopping missions. We left Paul at home editing. Mm -hmm. I think you were secretly very happy about that. I was sleeping, actually. (laughs) <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> we were on the Gold Coast, so we headed up to the IKEA at Logan. There, mm. one of my favourite places to go. Lots Not of mine. people would, yeah, I was gonna say lots of people would disagree with that. Mm. I actually think next time I am on an IKEA mission, I'm going to go solo. I think that I will enjoy that so much more. I'll have the time to really do what I want to do without worrying about. Any other little footprints behind me or beside me? It must have been so exciting for Jasper. I didn't actually consider that. He loved it, man. You think about it. It is this epic building where (laughs) every corner and turn you take, there's like a whole new room set up with stuff. And And it's all comes flat packed. I mean, and with an Allen key, this is the best. He loved it. He was peaking. He actually, he helped me pick out some really good stuff for the van. So we Mm. should get to that. We also stopped in at Bunnings for some of my favorite things in the world. Paul jokes, command Katie. I do love a good sticky hook and certainly love the fusion lock suction uh, stuff that you can get at Bunnings now. So we went and picked up a big haul of that. And we also went to Kmart did we take you to Kmart or did we do that solo as well? No, I can't remember. You, you were solo there as well. Yeah, right. Pretty cool. There you go. Anyway, lots of shopping to be done. What's fantastic though is, relatively speaking, we did not spend a lot of money. I will preface it and say the fusion mm. lock, the suction, good quality suction items that you can get for your caravan so you don't have to mess around with screwing holes or doing any damage mm. to your internal walls. That is up there in price. That is XE from Bunnings. However... We are massive advocates of you get what you pay for and if you want good quality stuff. And when I think about this beautiful van of ours, I wanted to make sure that we were getting good quality stuff that's not going to come off the walls. Buy once. Exactly. All right. So let's talk about some of that. And we'll talk about some of the spaces that the van also has that's great for storage too. Fantastic. Um, Interestingly, when we did our walkthrough on our YouTube episode – We spoke about the wardrobes. Paul and I have the large wardrobe on either side of our queen bed there Mm -hmm. and the hanging versus shelves. It's a big question and we actually Mm. got some really fantastic comments in from people. I'm considering changing my hanging over to shelving to allow a little bit more space. Paul's going to stick with the hanging because Mm -hmm. he has beautiful collared shirts that deserve to be hung and not crumpled. I also don't really like ironing. (laughs) We had some people write in and say, consider rolling your clothes, which is really great. So Isn't we'll that often that lady, a Japanese lady, Marie Kondo, is Mari, she, Mari, is she Marie. Japanese? Yes, she is. Hi. And she has an amazing um, YouTube Marie Kondo, and you'll be addicted. Her videos are fantastic. Mm. In fact, somebody actually said to me, "Watch what she does." And you'll maximise your space. So anyway, stay tuned. I might do a whole segment on how we Marie Kondo our clothes. But anyway, it is a big question, folding or hanging. Now, another good tip for your clothes is to get some soft storage tubs. And I picked up some of these Mm -hmm. from Ikea. They were really great, actually. They were a three-pack, little grey felt. They came in different sizes. What's great about the soft storage 
is that it squishes into all of those awkward mm. spaces that you will have in your RV no matter what brand, make, model you are running. But generally on the ends and the points of the van, so it could be where the roof curves over mm. at the front or back or where it comes into a slight sort of nose and the point yeah. or to get in and around internal appliances. Yeah. So there are, you're right, these kind of awkwardy spaces, not quite as severe or as many as you'd find in a, in a boat, say a yacht. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, it's, That's it's a not, good point. not quite like that because it's, you know, you still pretty well got four, four walls. walls. But, uh, but no, there definitely are interesting storage yeah, spaces. Yeah, and that's where those little soft storage tubs come in handy and the mm-hmm. felt ones are great. So I picked up a couple of packs of those from Ikea, three packs. They're great for things like socks and undies and I've got Jasper's beanies and caps in one, his pyjamas in another one. They squish in. You can, it doesn't matter if they get squished, right? That's their whole purpose. So those for clothes are fantastic. Mm-hmm. We also picked up some hard storage tubs and these are great obviously for your cupboards that are square or rectangular in shape. I specifically picked up storage uh, containers from Kmart. They have an amazing range of stuff mm. for your kitchen. So I actually stood in the aisle and just looked at it all and dreamt about, you know, having a kitchen the size of our caravan and what it be, would be like to organise it with all of these amazing pull-out containers and, you know, you'd have your sauces in one and your spices mm. in another one. And They haven't got any lids, the ones that uh, I think you're talking mm. about now, but they're really cool because they're quite deep and uh, – they fit. They fit perfectly. I don't know whether you measured this or I did not. I totally fluked it. They do come in different lengths. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I got them specifically for our heavier items mm. when it comes to groceries. So we have those items down low. Good idea. Good tip when you're packing your caravan. Anything really heavy, your tins, your sauces, mm-hmm. or any other items that you're putting into the caravan that are heavy, have them low. And if you can over the axles. Get down low and go, go, go. Yeah, 100%. So in our kitchen, I've got a couple of, I've got a drawer that I've got all of sauces and things in and those those tubs in particular fit perfectly in there. And then mm. I've got another, I call it my awkward drawer. It's down low and awkward. it's awkward. Awkward, <laughs> my awkward drawer. It's like my fake cupboard, but it's such a great storage space. It's underneath where if we had an oven in our van, which Mm -hmm. we do not, and we do not have a grill, we've got a huge pull-out drawer, which is fantastic. But just underneath that is a space about this high. If you're watching us on video and if you're listening to us, Paul, how high is that? Oh, look, we we could get into (laughs) an argument here. I'll I'll say 25 centimetres. Okay. So about 25 centimetres, but it's right over the axles and it's the perfect space for tinned food. Mm -hmm. Again, those really heavy items. So I picked up a couple of little storage uh, containers that I could then put the tins in so things weren't rolling around or, you know, moving as we travel. And you can get some, which is exactly what I got, with tiny little rollers on the bottom. So you literally just roll them out. They're so Good. Clever little design and cheap. Oh, so cheap. I think they were like six bucks each. I mean, yep. they come in every shape and size. There's even amazing stuff to organise your fridge. Like Kmart has an amazing range. We're not affiliated with them in any way, but I will say that their kitchen storage is awesome. So if you're looking for storage mm. solutions that are hard, go to Kmart for mm-hmm. those. Okay, moving on. Of course, we did go to Bunnings as well and pick up those fusion lock items. Um, this caravan, interestingly, has very different internal cupboards and storage spaces mm. to what we had in our previous caravan. And in some ways, potentially a little bit less, specifically in the bathroom, hey? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I think I like that because it actually means there is more space 
for you as a human. <laughs> it's very important. Well, so it is. I find a lot of caravan models in, in all sorts of different, you know, brands that we look at as we get around, it's quite tight in there. And, mm. I mean, you know, you're hopefully not going to spend too long in there, but you want to be comfortable. Well, that's true too. And when you think about, like, we're not overly big people in mm-hmm. terms of stature. So you really do want to have – a maximised space to make that experience, well, I don't know if enjoyable is the right word, but certainly sure not not enjoyable. Anywho, we don't have as much uh, storage space in our bathroom, so I picked up some of these nifty fusion lock suction. They go straight on your walls. They're great quality. They're not going to come off. The little basket that I picked up, the black wire basket it's a corner basket and it just fits perfectly in the corner of the bathroom that i think has a weight rating of 20 kilos now you couldn't fit 20 kilos in there you certainly couldn't that's, but that's jasper yeah uh, it, yeah yeah it is actually yeah, he's 20 or 21 kg yeah he wouldn't fit in there <laughs> but i tell you what does but it could hold him. my skincare and my essential oils that i use every day just just so we understand though Katie definitely does not have 20 kilos no. of, of skin care. You can see this no. is natural beauty. Uh, oh, essential this oils possibly I do. but has done a very good job. Oh, thanks. That's okay. so, uh, But that's a perfect spot. And then everything's just to hand. I love that. It's right there where the mirror is. I can mm. just stand in the mirror and do what I do as my daily and nightly routine. Awesome. I also picked up a little shelf, a fusion lock shelf, and I actually really love this. And it's interesting. It's a shelf. It is a shelf. But it's the joy that the shelf brings when we put things on the shelf that is the important thing to note here. (laughs) I honestly, honestly did not expect our podcast to be like this. (laughs) Is this too random? Storage. We're talking about storage, people. We are, but hey, it's a hot topic. And look, any caravaner will want to know, well, what do you do? What do you use? Mm -hmm. What are those little tips and tricks? This shelf... And then I'll get off the shelf. It's, a, it's an amazing shelf. It's a very expensive shelf. Let me tell you, I think this little shelf was about $55. Which, Holy Freddo Frog. Yeah, considering its perspex, it's, um, it is up there, but it is a fusion lock. It'll last longer than either of us. I'm going to tell you what I did. I installed the shelf. Then I put a little fake plant on that I bought from Ikea, a beautiful little fern in a mm. pot. I put my little pilot diffuser can take it anywhere. It's great. It's USB rechargeable. doesn't need to be plugged in to work. And two little essential oils on the shelf. And Jasper then, walked then, into the bathroom. And then Katie took about 15 photos. It's yeah. like, oh, my God, I've got to send everyone this picture on my shelf. It brought me so much joy. Not just me, though. Jasper walked into the bathroom and he opened the door and he said to me, oh, wow, Mum, it's beautiful in here. And that's all that I'd done. He did. So it does bring True joy story. to your heart. Anyway, there we go. So I don't think that shelf will actually do too much as far as storage goes, but it will certainly keep us happy when we're in the bathroom. I actually might uh, just mention here that whether you're going to Bunnings or Ikea, they both have a fantastic app. I didn't know Bunnings had one. Yeah, so with Bunnings, you can actually put in the item you're looking for and it'll send you, you know how you're always like looking for that person, to, you know, and they yep. send you to, oh, 56, but it was really like 56 and a half. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, Harry Potter. <laughs> but, you, you know, like it, they, they're kind of close, but not quite. Mm. And then you, you end up all the way down the other end. Uh, the app actually sends you to, to the correct. Amazing. Uh, aisle. And... In Ikea, it's yes. even, it's the next level. So I went to Ikea and met up with a good girlfriend of mine, Karina, and she showed me this app and I was like, this is this is life-changing. This could take you from being a non-Ikea lover to an Ikea lover. And basically, mm. you can download the app and as you are <laughs> putting things into your trolley as you're going through Ikea, you can scan them into the app And then when you get down to the bottom, you know, you go through all of those amazing, what are those, you know, like the MSA uh, warehouse where things are just on like. Oh, like the the pallet storage 
yeah. warehouse kind of looking area. Yeah, you know that area just before you get to the checkouts at IKEA and you come through all of that and you pick up your heavy items, your flat pack stuff. Yeah. You've got everything saved in the app. You hit process. It gives you a little QR code on your app. You walk past all the people that are lining up at the checkouts through these little gates, you scan your little QR code, the gates open, you go over, you scan on your own little self-checkout, you pay your money, and you're out of there. Boom. Five minutes, if that. It was amazing. It was so good. So, yeah, definitely download cool. the app. Um, IKEA also have a really great – again, we're not affiliated with IKEA, but they have a great um, – like a rewards, a members thing. You can just sign up and you get a little IKEA card and gives you discounts and stuff. I'm Kia. Is that what it's called? I'm Kia. Yeah. No, I think it's called something like IKEA Family or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. You know? That rings a bell. Yeah. Do you know that there's a guy in the States, I think his surname was Gru- Gruen, G-R-U-E-N, and he created the Mega Mall in America, and it was designed to confuse people, and that's how I feel in <laughs> IKEA. <laughs> I thought and you were going to re- say that's how you feel in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But the idea is, is that, you create a enough level of confusion that people look for comfort and they do that through their wallet. Well, and we've all True been story. to shopping centres like that where you walk in and then you're like, okay, I have no idea which exit I need to mm. get to to get to the car park or where I came from. Yeah, I think it's called the Gruen Transfer. There is a show on television too on ABC, my mate directs. Mm. It's a fantastic show. It is a great Gruen show. Gruen Transfer, yeah. if you're in Australia. Bad awesome. advertising. Yeah, awesome. Okay, anyway, so we've spoken about Bunnings. We've spoken about IKEA. Mm. What else do we need to talk about? Oh, things that we still want to get for the van to mm-hmm. really, I think, just keep evolving it. And there's only a short list, but a couple of them are very practical. You know the storage pockets? And that you get, you might have one or two pre-installed in your van and they're basically the, the leather or the vinyl storage pockets. Pleather. Pleather, yeah. Sometimes we've seen them in different vans at the front door, which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, we have one just here, if you're watching us, beside our Chase Lounge. Mm-hmm. I want to get a few more of those because they're really handy, particularly beside our bed, one either side for Paul and I, mm-hmm. we do have the little nooks. Um, they're like little secret cubby holes for your iPhone to charge overnight. But it'd be great to have a little storage pocket on either side of our bed for remotes or a book or just other things, yeah. laptops. There's always those little things. Because the mm-hmm. bed, I guess, is also the primary place generally that we're going to sit, lay half lay, sit, mm. watch a movie because mm. the TV swivels around. Yeah. Uh, so it is – you always need to put the remote somewhere. Otherwise, if you get up, then it falls off. And, yeah. Yeah. So a couple of little storage pockets there. I'd also like to get a couple on the other side of where Paul sits to edit, just over there, mm-hmm. so that he can easily pop the GoPros and the adapters and – All of the things that that he needs handy. They're not all over the table Mm. and all over the seat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Free up the space. It manages your stuff a bit better, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And Jasper also has a little one at the head of his bed. I'd like to get him another one to go on the side wall of Mm. his bunk as well, just for some more of his books or any special little things. I think this is a good point. It, It is the difference between really like... Weekend warrior, occasional holiday user and full-time living, mm. you know. And, and from a full-time living point of view, the this is why those extra pockets and things are so valuable. That they, they, you, you definitely would use them. Yeah, 100%. Um, we are looking at a couple of different Aussie businesses who make those. Mm-hmm. So we will actually order some of those, get them in, install them, use them and, and do a bit of a, a review on on them. A couple more things just to talk about that uh, I think the highlight of your IKEA trip were mm. 
the hexagon mirrors that you purchased. Yeah, weren't they a hit? Everybody wanted to know about them. They're so cool. They are beautiful, actually. They just came in a little pack of 10. They literally stick straight on to the wall with some double-sided tape stuff. Yeah, pretty well. And you, what I love about them is that you can be really creative. So there's no right or wrong way to put them up. You can literally do whatever pattern, whatever shape, however you want. They come in a two different two-tone colour schemes. So we got like a, I guess a, a silvery rose gold combination, would you say, Paul? <laughs> yeah. I would have said maybe bronze to, to gold and then there's the silver grey as the option in okay. the other two-tone. There you go. That's yeah. what we got. Yeah. Anyway, we put um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them on the wall in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we also placed two each on each side of our main bed. And they're just really lovely. I mean, what I love about the kitchen one, obviously, they're mirrors. So they provide that reflection. They do make the space feel a bit bigger as yeah. well. And the van, although minimalistic, still is quite modern mm. and quite fresh and open because there are huge windows in mm. this van. So there is more window space than wall space yes, almost. So the environment is. outside coming in uh, is, I guess, complemented by the mirrors because it it does give you that beautiful reflection, as you said, and it does open the space even more. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's beautiful. And, you know, add to that, again, a couple of the really lovely artificial plants that I picked up. So mm -hmm. I did get some from Ikea. We also picked up a couple of others from a news agent, which, you know, you know, you find those news agents and they've got amazing gifts and just stuff that you wouldn't think should be in a news agent, but it is. So we got a couple of beautiful little artificial plants and boy, haven't artificial plants come a long way. We love real plants. A mm. uh, couple of reasons for artificial, no soil. So the weight is greatly reduced, mm -hmm. like it would be a fifth of the normal plant weight. Mm. Uh, no maintenance. No maintenance, yeah. Don't have to water. That's right. You don't have to worry about whether you're a green thumb or not. Mm -hmm. uh, and biosecurity through different states uh, during our travels. Tasmania was a good example where... Katie cried when she had to let go of her plants because they were real and we weren't allowed to take them mm -mm. across into Tasmania. Yes, and lots of states have those and even regions, you know, yeah. within a state will still have biosecurity. So mm -hmm. we opted for ease this time and they just look beautiful. Again, they just add to the environment, certainly make it feel like home as well. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a fantastic way to lift the mood of the environment is to put a plant in. A real one would be better, yes, but uh, still that visual aspect of a plant is fantastic mm. in, the, in a van. I do have a few more plants in progress as well. Some exciting <laughs> new additions to our family no, coming no soon. More, no more shelves. No more shelves. No. no, no more shelves. One last thing that I'll mention is uh, just over Katie's left sh shoulder again, if you're watching, is the hanging fruit basket. Mm. Now, this is a macrame yes. woven basket. It was $12. You heard me right. That's a bargain at the Mindel Markets up there in Darwin. Mm. That is a fantastic market. It sure All is. All the live music, that hot, steamy Darwin air, the sunset. Yep. Oh, stop. You're making Love me want to go back there. Yeah, it is It is really good vibe. And uh, anyway, they have these hanging baskets. Great baskets. They're so good. Again, just taking what would be another bowl on a bench top, taking up space mm -hmm. and removing that, but still putting it somewhere that it's easily accessible. So I love it here. This is where Jasper sits when we sit around and have dinner. He sits where I'm sitting exactly now. He can easily get up here, access the fruit bowl. We picked it up in Darwin and it was so nice. We used to hang it outside on the awning full of fruit. Yeah, that's good. The other thing that you can use those hanging baskets for is to use as a uh, a little friendly reminder not to bump or knock your head on an awning arm. So if you've, you've got the awning arms and depending on the lay of the land or the type of awning, you can have arms that come quite low or whatever it is, hanging a fruit bowl out there. And then you can also put the incense carrier inside 
those baskets. Oh yeah, as well. the, like the mozzie coil. Yeah, we've character. we've done that Car- as well, and carrier. and people ask us about that. Oh, what's that special? Mm. Or a plant? Yeah, look, it's um, it is great. They're really great. And we should pick up a couple of those, Dale, because you've dunked your head a few too many times <laughs> on the uh, new awning arms. I have. That's yeah. right. Especially when you wear a cap too, and you you I'm just learning. you can't see it. Mm. So anyway, they are great. Anything to get things off your benches right because your bench space really is the most important thing particularly in your kitchen something else that we've been talking about doing with jasper's bunks is moving him eventually up to the top bunk yes look he keeps um, big boy he's a big boy he keeps hassling us for a sibling we don't know what's going to happen there in that space but in any case we will move him up to the top bunk and look at just turning that bottom bunk into a bit of a play space for him and potentially adding a little shelf that Mm. can act as a desk for him. And again, we've had some great comments and messages from people who have different configurations, different family sizes as well, or who even travel with their dogs. Now, we have good friends, another travelling family out on the road. They travel with their young daughter and they have two beagles and they've turned the bottom bunk into the beagle's bed. So there's lots of different options there for bunks depending on your family too. Love it. There is so many people out there travelling that have these ideas and tips, tricks, hacks, storage solutions that you may not have thought of Mm. as well. So worth, uh, yeah, looking out and Googling around simple storage solutions and seeing what else is out there if you're in the planning stages, that's for sure. Yeah, 100%. You really can. I think what we've found after three years on the road and, you know, different vans and different experiences is that you really can make it right for you, for your family. Mm -hmm. Think outside the box a little bit, get creative with what you do and you can come up with some pretty amazing solutions and ideas that really work for how you use the space excellent all right i think that's it on storage awesome fantastic we hope that that added value or gave you some ideas or maybe yeah make you really just want to visit ikea or (laughs) look if you do the links to everything that we purchased again we're not affiliated we don't have any discount codes to offer on Mm. any of this stuff but if you watch that youtube episode and you love any of the items. The mirrors. Yes, that's what I was going to say. The links are all in the description of that YouTube episode that shows the beautiful footage of the internal van tour. Fantastic. Make it easy. All right. Take away for this week. Home is where your heart is. Yeah, look, it really is. And it, and that that takeaway really struck me when we were talking about that the, I guess, the detail around this podcast, which probably was a little bit different than what the podcast actually turned out to be. But it doesn't really matter is where I got to, where you call home. Because at the end of the day, it Mm. is four walls, whether it's a caravan or, you know, whether you're in an apartment or a house. Home is where you're with the people who you love and Mm. who make you feel safe and happy and alive. And, And that really really struck me when I was thinking about turning this place into our home, you know? Mm. So anyway, there you go. That's our takeaway. (laughs) Love it. And then if you can put the perfect shelf in that space, then life is good. Yeah, and just not freak out about the price of it. (laughs) But if it adds joy to your heart, that's all that matters. That is good. Another yeah. takeaway. Well, that is us for this week, short and sweet. Next week, our guest speakers. Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. Another travelling family. Look, there are so many travelling families out there. And I think it would be great to talk to a few different of the travelling families mm. that we know and have crossed paths with on the road to get those different perspectives and, again, tips and tricks and ideas and just all of that information from families who are out there doing it. Yes, and I think it also helps you to realise that some things that may seem out of out <laughs> the ordinary are actually yes. normal. Yeah, you know, 100%. It's like, it's like my dad used to say, abnormal is normal. Yeah. You know, when uh-huh. it comes to family and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. There is no normal. No, that's right. All right. I think that is 
us for this week. For now, we'll say dream big, look after yourself, look after your family. And happy trails. Fantastic. Well done, Katie Kate. Thank you. You're making our place a home. You're doing such a great job. I do love it. And it does take time um, to Mm. set things up. It is like moving house. You know, Mm -hmm. you've got figuring out where things go and then adding your personal touches to it. But it is exciting. I do love it. And it does every new little thing that you do definitely makes it feel more us as well, you know, more your own environment, the more that you, I don't want to say the more you add to it because you don't want to add heaps of stuff to it, but no. the more that you do to to help make it feel like that, it's so rewarding. It is. Now we have to maybe even let Jasper help us come up with a name for our new van. Yeah, look, we haven't discussed that yet, have no, we? No, we, it's on the cards though. Mm. I reckon he'll just boom. He'll just know something straight away. If you've got a suggestion... Leave us a comment below. No, send it in. (laughs) We'd, We'd love to know. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.